I didn't get my beaver. Um, at the end of the last episode, I was going to go get a beaver. I was on my way to go and get one. It did not go to plan. I'll show you what happened in a minute. I did record it, but I got tilted afterwards. So I didn't finish recording what I was doing. So I'd come back on it. I've had to wait for some uh, resets, basically. I couldn't find a high-level beaver. Kind of didn't matter, because I've been doing a lot of building while I was waiting for like resets and stuff. And we were just using Big Berry, and she farmed so much wood. It's ridiculous. I really don't need a beaver. So that's all good. I'll show you what happened in a second. Before I do, though, as you can see, I've been busy. This is what I was doing after I got tilted. <laughs> to calm down and wait for... Uh, originally, like I said, wait for some respawns if we could get a higher level beaver. And um, yeah, so this this took me a few hours. I've got a wall there. That's kind of like a sample wall. I was just seeing if I liked it like that. I've uh, built a wall like this recently on my other server. On the private server I play on. And I do like it, so I'm going to do another version of that over there up by the end of this cliff on the left anyway i'm not doing that now last for another time but yeah this is my new base we were running out of space on the raft which is just there hms trapper oh boy um obviously i haven't got the stacking mod on so we're really running out of space quickly which is cool i like it i ain't gonna turn it on i want to have to build a vault room but yeah, this is the hut. I really like it. I don't know um, how it compares to a lot of builds and stuff, but I kind of like it. The two-tone look on it. It was kind of cheap to build in a way, you know. It weren't, you know, it's only wooden thatch basically and stone, so it's quite easy to get hold of. And like I said, Big Berry gathered so much wood, I really didn't need a beam in the end. And obviously we got the doe dick down there, stoner. So yeah, pretty cool. I'll fly down here and we'll have a little look inside. Uh, the reason I'm starting with this to show you guys, one is obviously show you the base. Um, although it's not fully kitted out yet, but the build's done almost. It's not exactly how one. I've got some stuff to it. Anyway, that's for another time. Um, I was curious as to what you guys think about building in episodes. Do you guys like to watch the building? Or would you rather it was like this where you just log on and like check out the video and I've got a base built. I, I don't know what you'd rather see, whether it slows down the video too much if I put too much building in. Obviously I had the raft building episode, but that was literally, um, I needed the raft. It was in, like, I thought it was interesting as well because I was showing the method of sinking in the foundations, which is helpful for people if you want to build a raft like that. So I thought that was fine, but generally, um, you know, if I want to build a base and that, I don't know how you guys feel about it. We had the little base at the start, but obviously that was just tiny. This was like hours of building. Obviously, I wouldn't make it hours and hours of a video, but um, you know what I mean. Like, what do you guys think? Would you want to see the building in the episodes, or are you fine with it like this? I'm just curious as to what people would rather see, that's all. Let me know in the comments down below, of course, as to what you think about that. But this is the uh, new base. I'll show it. Like I said in the last episode when I was like theory crafting <laughs> the, the idea of the base i was saying that um i wanted it to be kind of similar to my base in atlas so it's kind of modeled on that it's not exactly the same but it's kind of similar uh, i'll come back out here in a minute but this is the main walkway which is identical to the one we had on atlas but obviously the stairs went to the right in atlas um and yeah we got the funky ceilings back which i kind of liked not the ceilings the walls i really like the you know it's a bit different i kind of like it like that it looks cool this is like the dining area. This is where my pirates, or my sail sailors, what are they called? My mercenaries. This is where my mercenaries could come and eat. And I had their um, larder in here and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do in art. Because obviously there ain't much in the way of things to put in here. But obviously at the minute I've got my mortar and pestles. I've got some food storage. I'll probably put some sort of decorations in here if I can find any. Like some more chairs and stuff or whatever. Uh, through here we've got the workshop, or will be the workshop at the minute, it's basically just um, all my refining forges. I'm going to move these outside onto the um, deck out there. Um, here's the storage you've got so far, and it's not enough. I've already had to put some storage upstairs. Um, but yeah, we'll have the fabricator in here, we'll have all the other bits and pieces of crafting stuff in here. When we get the bigger things, obviously I'll try and make another workshop, or I don't know, we'll think of something when we get there. This was like a stable area on Atlas. Um, I don't really need it on here, but I just thought it was cool. I really like the um, open end to the workshop. I think that was cool. That was something I wanted in here. That's why I've done it. And then you can look upstairs as well. Again, that's like a, as best as I could get it as a copy from Atlas, from my base in Atlas. Um, yeah, in Atlas we had uh, some sheep in here and my horses and stuff. But I think we could put some equus and some uh, ovises in here or something. Just, just to uh, add to the aesthetics. <laughs> uh, this was an archway in Atlas, but I can't make the archway in here because you can't snap the um, sloped walls to the ceiling like they don't go the right way. 
But yeah, that's all that. Yeah, this is come back through the workshop. Pow, up the stairs. Pow, pow. This is like just going to be storage. I've got some storage here. I'm going to put another row here. Basically, between all the windows, I'm going to put rows of cabinets. We've got a bookshelf there and a bookshelf there for some blueprints. I haven't got any blueprints yet. We need to get working on that as soon as I can. Um, up here, I have to duck because the ceiling's quite low, is just above like the stable area thing. And um, I thought I might as well use it since it was here. And this will just be for more storage eventually. I'll just put another load of stuff in here. Maybe it'll be the library. I could do with having a library. I think that'd be a nice little touch. Over here, this is my favourite room. I really like this. I don't know why. It's just nice, big and open. Looks cool. I think I'm going to get the house painted in some way eventually. Um, and yeah, get some decorations in here. Once we kill like the broodmother or whatever, I think we'll have the trophies in here and stuff like that. Um, until we get another base built. If I decide to make one, I ain't too sure yet. I do want to build one up on that bluff out there. I think that would be cool. Again, like I said earlier, the building. I'm thinking about building up there. If you guys want to see it, let me know. And I'll, I will record it. And we'll like have it all done together kind of thing. Um, I'm going to build it in part. So it wouldn't be like one big long video anyway. And if I don't put it in a video. And you guys don't want to see the building. You just want to see the end product. It will just randomly be getting bigger as we go through the series. Like I said, I just want to push on through the arc series anyway. Anyway, I keep waffling on. So yeah, this is like the, um, I don't know, it's like the hall, I guess. It's like the grand hall. Out here we've got a balcony area just for, uh, just my cooking pot, basically. <laughs> I'm going to put my barbecue out here eventually. It's a bit over the top, really. It's quite big, but I thought it looked cool, so I left it. I also um, like this little entrance thing where the pillars are done. Uh, you know, it's quite simple stuff. Like, it's nothing extraordinary but I like it. it looks cool but yeah that's about the house covered obviously we've got a bit of storage here for my main gear uh, got a deck out here not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this yet I've just built this out like that to give me options later got the feeding trough and my dinos that I've got at the moment um, oh yeah and around here like I said I didn't show you this earlier so this is just well it's just going to be the dockyard I wanted to build out some um, piers or um, pontoons whatever you call them to moor up my water dinos against when I've got some and obviously HMS Trapper and a couple of other boats if I build them uh, but I couldn't get it to work and look nice uh, maybe I'll do some of it eventually but I kind of like this this was my workaround and I actually really like it um, when I jump on any minute I'll fly back round and you can see it I actually think it looks pretty cool um, I just done it for practical reasons and decided I actually like it, so I might just leave it to be honest. It looks kind of different. And uh, yeah, like I said, there's the wall. I've just got to put the top on it and put a walkway across it, and um, that'll be that one done. And I'll do one on the other side, and I'll get eventually some humans patrolling it if I can work out how to do it properly. And there's the view of the uh, the ramp into the water there, whatever you want to call it. I think it looks kind of cool. I really like that actually. But yeah, that's the base up to date. Like I said, if you want to see the building content in the videos, let me know in the comments below. Um, I just want to make sure I'm doing the best I can with the videos and that I'm not like losing too much time in building and stuff. I love building. I do a lot of building stuff on Ark. I'm always up to something. You know, I just like doing that sort of thing, but I don't know how much it slows down episodes if I put it in videos too much. Let me know down below. And like I said at the start, I went to get a beaver. It didn't go well. And I got tilted and stopped what I was doing. So here's what happened. And when we come back, I'm going to go and get a Baryonyx. There is a level 18 cash droids there. Oh, there's normally like two or three down there. Plus a couple in here. There's only one. I don't know where they all are. Try and grab me out of the water. Oh, mate. Absolutely nailed it. Oh my god, I'm mate, I've just flown from the other side of the map. I can't believe that's just happened. I had to stop four times to not die 
and a car who's just slapped my fucking cash droids. Oh man, I might go without. I might go without. That has tilted me. That has. Oh, I can't believe it. I flew around the map for ages looking for one of them, man. They were all like level 2. That was the first one I found that was like. It was level 18, which still isn't amazing, but. Oh, that was the last area as well. So I know there's. Well, I haven't seen any higher level ones. I'm not going back. I'm going to have to uh, go without for now. Oh, Inga's still running around her patrol route though, look. Loving it. Oh, that is so annoying. Ugh. Ooh, what level are you? Level four. Oh, that's pretty awful. But, if I can get it... Oh, no. Too slow. Try and chase it. Um, yeah, I know it's a really low Tapihara, but um, I can't think of another way to get a Quetz right now. Because as far as I know, you can no longer solo them the same way as you used to by attaching yourself to an Argent, which I think I said in a, another video. So I think you can do it with a Tapihara by swapping seats on it and shooting from the back seat. Um, I haven't actually done it yet, and I don't know whether that's right, but I think that's right. Uh, so although that's a level 4, it will get me the job done, and I think it'll be Sod's Law if I don't get this one, even though it's low level, I'll um, I'll regret it later. If it dies, it dies if it's low level, you know, but um, where's it gone? It will still get me the job done that I need doing. Oh, there's a... I haven't opened these down here yet. What's this one then? Anything about? I don't want to get mauled to death while I'm trying to read it. Well, I've had a good look, and there's nothing here that I can see, so hopefully I don't get jumped. <laughs> like that one, that human that jumped me on uh, one of the other episodes. Right. What's this one then? Nerva Note 24. God, there's hell of a jump in these things. Okay, well, it looks cool. I like the um, I, I like some of the artwork on these things, Alma Note, but they're pretty cool. What's it say then? So it's Nerva 24. I have received disturbing news. Apparently the Beast Queen has resurfaced with an even larger contingent than before. And she is on the move. Worse still, she's travelling directly towards one of the Oblisks. Oh, okay. I don't think I've seen a mention of the Oblisk before. Oh, that's what that picture is, isn't it? That's the Oblisk. Okay. I can think of no worse scenario than the Oblisk falling into those barbaric hands. She has always been a nuisance. But with their power, the Beast Queen would pose a dire threat to everything I have built. I must mobilise my main force and move to Interceptor at once. The future of this island may hang in the balance. Gaius Marcellus Nerva. Nerva Note 24. I really, really like this Nerva guy. Um, I have no idea who's bad and good in the Ark story. The Ark story is just getting better and better the more I learn about it. Again, if you don't know, I'm trying to find the story as I go. I haven't watched any of the backlog videos or whatever there is on YouTube. I haven't seen anything. I genuinely don't know the story of Ark. I know bits and pieces, but I didn't know any of this stuff. I don't know anything about Nerva or anything about Rockwell. I know none of that stuff. So this is all really cool. And um, so far, it's been awesome trying to find out what's going on. I think once I eventually finish the um, the Story of Arc series, or at least once I've completed the um, notes, I might go back through my recordings and put some put them in order, just cut out the uh, the notes and put them in order on the on the channel and people can go and reference them or look at them whenever they want them. Uh, I don't know if anyone's interested in that, that might be a cool little idea. But yeah, the story is really cool and I'm really liking this Nerva guy. He said in the, uh, one of the other episodes where um, he was talking about the Roman legions that there's actually a Roman mod out at the moment, uh, part of uh, Eco's RP and um, he's got a Roman mod which is part of a collection he's doing uh, I can't remember exactly what it was called, um, Empire's Collection or something like that. Anyway, but it's got all the Roman, um, all the Roman like building structures and things like that. I think like tents and things like that. So it's pretty cool. I'm tempted to put it on, but obviously I'm trying to make this. Um, I'm trying to keep this playthrough quite mod free. I've only got a couple of mods on. Obviously the human mod, which I was trying to try out, um, and that's it really. So. I don't know, maybe a decoration mod would be alright, but I don't know, I'll think about it. But that could be cool, So I'm fully on Team Nerva, I think. I love reading his story at the moment. And I've just realised I was following a tapager and I've completely lost where it went. Oh, wow, it was a spontaneous thing. That's not what I was actually looking for, so... Never mind. Maybe we'll find another one. Oh, 
Oh, nein! Every time you come in the redwoods, oh my god. God damn, that's so annoying. Oh no. Wait, what level are you? Oh, that's like level 13. Ooh, there's a first tech raptor I've seen in this game. Oh, level 14. I might get it. That might be a nice little uh, addition for Inga. She can ride it or it can follow her around. Just try and get it somewhere a bit more uh, safe. What are you doing down there? This looks alright. This is not good. That's alright though. Right. I hope they can knock this out. Oh, that was easy. Okay, that's cool. Broke my arm and had a little gear. Well, that's a nice little turn up. Nice little Tech Raptor. Level 14. Uh, we'll name her later. Yeah. Tech Raptors look pretty cool. I do like a Tech Raptor. And they're really good at this part of the game when you ain't got that many tames. And like I said, sh she'll be really cool to follow Inga around on patrol. I actually, I actually might be able to make a saddle for Inga to ride her. That'd be kind of cool. But uh, we'll get her back to the base anyway. Uh, because I can't actually find what I was looking for. I was on the hunt for Baryonyx. Oh, wrong button! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Oh, it died already! Oh, man! Oh, they're so squishy! I thought I'd killed the carna. Was that dying? Oh. Well, there's one here. I'm literally my way back. And it's a level 10, and I'm after Baryonyx. Um, and if you don't know, obviously I'm playing on the uh, single player settings. Oh man, that is hitting me harder than I thought it was going to. Oh, I don't know if I can get this back. Um, let's drop this here a second. I'm going to have to get a trap built for it. But yeah, if you don't know, I'm playing on the single player settings because I've never done it before and I wondered what it was like. Um, so the max level 60, and I haven't seen anything higher than like a level 22 or of anything yet. Um, obviously, I'm in like the lower part of the island, so there's probably higher leveled stuff further up maybe. But um, a baryonyx would be really cool. I want to start getting relics and stuff out of caves as quick as I can. Obviously, I want to try and find some blueprints. So that would be handy to get in there and open boxes and crates and all that kind of cool stuff. And obviously, pick up the exploring notes that will be in there as well. So I think the Baryonyx would be a good tame right now. And even though it's a low level one, I think it'll be handy. So um, I think we'll get one. Hopefully he's de and I'll get some sort of pen knocked up quick. That's a bit over the top really, isn't it? That's inspired by uh, one of my mate's traps. I see him, well, a group of made recently on um, our private server. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why I've done this for a Baryonyx. <laughs> But I felt like building a trap, so there you go, I've built one. Do do what you want with it, I don't care. Yeah, I've got building issues, I can't help it. Whatever, it's a cool little trap, it's gonna work, should do. Maybe one day there'll be another Baryonyx or something else down there I wanna tame, otherwise it's a complete waste of time, but whatever. I enjoyed building it, and that's all that matters to me. Right, let's try and uh, get this Baryonyx. So like I, I think I said earlier, just in case I didn't I say it again, um, it's kind of a low level I know, oh my god that's so much quicker than I was expecting it to be. Oh this is not good. 
This is not gone well. Hello? Come here! Oh my god, this I've built this hut and it's gonna pass out outside of it. It did as well. Ah That I weren't expecting it to be that fast. I thought I was gonna have time to shut the door. I should have put a um I should have put a pillar there, I didn't know that was gonna happen. So that was literally an <laughs> it's literally a complete waste of time. Oh my god. Oh and I've just realised I've got no fish. And they only eat fish, I believe. Uh, okay, well, that shouldn't be a problem. How much did Annie get beaten up? Oh, hard dinner. Okay, she's hard as nails, and that's good. Eh, yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> I can't believe I built that taming pen and I <laughs> knocked it out without using it. <laughs> oh, good use of time there. But that's what Ark is all about. Them little things. You just spur the moment, I'm going to build this. Regardless of whether or not you're actually going to use it. Oh, I am number one fisherman. Oh, look at this. I'm getting all the fish. That would do. Could get prime fish. Really don't matter. It's a low level barry anyway. But I'm hoping if I level this one up for now, um, I might be able to do a little bit with it. Like I said, as well as getting in the cave for the artifacts, obviously there's going to be explorer notes and stuff down there. And also, um, I need to start finding blueprints and stuff. And obviously there's going to be some nice loot crates and stuff down there. So I need to get on that. And I think that will be a good way to go about it. Obviously, there's only one name. And it's probably predictable. I don't care. It's Barry the Baryonyx. <laughs> it's a female. <laughs> We've got a female Barry. <laughs> I didn't even read it. Uh, well, Barry, you're happy with that name, aren't you? Yes, love. They look pretty cool, I didn't realise. I'll tell you what I didn't do, is get a saddle. Uh, come on, Barry. <laughs> it's Barry the female Baryonyx. Right, let's get Barry the female back to uh, <laughs> back to the base. I can't believe I did not use that taming pen. Right, okay, this should be better. She better carry me now. Yeah, that's much better. Oh, yeah. Look at uh, Barry the Barry on it, because the female Barry. They actually look happy. They're great. Oh, she only looks for 78. So much shit in our factory, look like. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I've actually had a baryonyx, you know. I've seen them, obviously. I know they can swim, they're good at swimming. They've got an AoE, I think. I think that's what that right click just was. Oh my god, that's nutty. Oh, and they've got no oxygen either, I just noticed. Okay. That is awesome. I wonder what that does on land then. That's pretty cool. She's got level. Oh my god, so much fish. <laughs>